Okay, welcome back. So we already know how to create uh, getter methods. And remember we said methods are simply functions, except they are uh, declared inside a class. So what happens if we want to actually update um, or set the values, um, the private variables? Okay, so to do that, we will need to create uh, some new methods. And so let's go again, step one, student.h. And we will create what are called uh, setters. Okay, and setters are simply, again, methods. But these are void uh, methods. So I will say void. And let's say set. And let's say set name. Okay. Now, if I'm going to set the name, then it means I need a name. And so it will accept, in this case, one parameter. And let's call it name. Okay. And let's write, let's create a method that will set the ID. So again, we'll say void we'll see a set ID. And since we're going to set the ID, we expect that we are provided the ID. Okay. And let's create the third setter method, which again is void, and it will set the major. So if it's going to set the major, then we expect that we will be provided with a major. Okay, and that's step one. So notice step one is rather straightforward. We will be setting, okay? All right. So step one is done. And so what we will do now is to move on to step two where we will go ahead and implement these setters. So again, step two means we go to student.cpp. And so, uh, we will implement our setters. So let's do our first setter. So set name. Of course, we could do them in any order, but I'm going to do name first. We'll uh, set or update the name of the student. So again, this is void. It does not return anything. It belongs to the student class and it's called get, sorry, uh, set name. Okay. So because I'm setting name, I will expect that some argument will be passed in and I will use it to update the name variable. So how would I um, set the name? Well, that's easy enough, right? All I have to do is to, to know what is the name of the private variable. Well, it's called student name. And so I will place in student name whatever is given to me. Name. And that's it. One line. Now, I will do the same and I will set or update the ID. So set ID will set or update the ID of the student. So again, it's void, nothing is returned. It belongs to the student class and it's the set ID method, which means I should be provided with an ID of type string. And what I'm going to do with that is to simply say that student ID will be what has been given to me as the parameter. Okay, and finally, I will do the same for uh, the major. Okay. 
And so I will say set major will set or update the major of the student. And of course, it will be void. It does not return anything. It belongs to the student class. And it's actually the set major method. And so we expect that a major, the new major, will be provided. We can call it major if we want. And we will simply say that the private variable called student major will be set or changed to whatever is given to me, major. And that's it, we've implemented all our setters. And step three means I, wa I want to test them. And so I'll come to main and I will create a bunch of setters. So I will say something like uh, J John that set major. And so we're going to say the major is um, accounting. Okay. Uh, we will say John that set ID. So we will change John's ID from Q111 to W233. And we will say that John's um, name, okay, so let's say he changed his name. He's no longer John, he will be Peter. Okay, so Peter um, Smith. Okay, so he changed his first name. Okay, um, let's run this. And by the way, nothing will happen because I haven't seen the changes. So I'll just uh, copy this. Okay, so copy John. Copy John. And copy John. Okay. So we should see that his uh, name, his ID, and his major has changed. Okay, so let's save that and let's click play. So notice um, it works like originally described, but now uh, he is now Peter Smith. His ID is now W233 and is now have doing accounting. All right, and of course, as you know, that's because after we printed everything for John, we called the set methods, and then we printed again those values for John, which as we expected, they were different. And of course, we could do the same for Jane, right? If you wanted, we could uh, update something for Jane. So let's say I wanted to change Jane's um, major. So Jane that set major. And she now will study um, CS. Okay. So again, if we just click play, nothing will happen because, uh, oh, okay. Let's fix that, semicolon. Okay. So if I click play, uh, nothing happens. And that's simply because I did not uh, see out Jane again. So Jane has made a change. And to see that change, I will need to call see out to output uh, the new major for Jane, okay, for Jane. So I'm gonna say Jane. And if I click play, I should see that Jane should now have a major of CS. Okay, so that's it uh, for setters. And so again, um, getters will just 
give us what is in the private variables while setters will allow us to change what is in the private variables and if you haven't noticed it by now each student that you create there are two different students one is Jane one is John so Jane has her own private variables and John has his own private variables so if you change Jane's private variables then that will not affect John's private variables so make sure you keep that in mind that they are two separate things okay and so these things we have a name for them so these are called objects objects okay and so we create two student objects okay er sometimes they might call them instances okay same thing and objects and instances they are separate okay so jane and john as far as the compiler is concerned are two different things so changing one does not affect the other that's a very important point and don't uh don't forget it you must remember they're separate okay so i will leave it here for this video and in the next video i want to go back to the beginning and i want to talk more about constructors how we can create a new student i'll see you in that video